topic that we've alluded to but haven't really covered in detail is that of subtyping. The idea is that one type can be a subtype of another, in which case you can use the subtype in any place that the supertype is needed. In this course, we don't do too much with subtyping. It's one of these undercurrents that's present, but you need to understand it at a certain level so that you can understand certain things that happen in Scala. We are not going to write code that specifically uses subtyping though. So this is a little diagram of some of the subtyping relationships in the Scala language. You'll see a lot of the types that we've worked with, double, int, boolean, care, unit, string, list, array. Yeah, those are all things that we've seen recently. Um, and they're inside of a hierarchy. These arrows represent what is a subtype of other things. So unit, boolean, care, int, double are all subtypes of a type called anyval. Over here, list, array, string, and pretty much every other uh, type that we've been introduced to is a subtype of any ref. Now, we kind of saw this in a recent video, but we can kind of explore this a little bit. So for example, if I make a list that contains a five and a true, Scala has to, so has to figure out a type for this. And what it's going to do is it's going to pick the type that is above both of these and closest to them. So five is an int, and true is a boolean. Well, the only thing that is directly above those, or the closest thing that's directly above those, is this type called anyval. And sure enough, when we execute this, we get a list of anyval. We could also throw in a double or a unit, and we'd stay with anyval. Note that getting a list of anyval really isn't very useful to you. Okay. Um, it's not something that you generally want to do. We're kind of doing it here for illustrative purposes so that you can see in a demonstration of how this type hierarchy uh, is, is present in your code. What about the other side, the any ref? Well, so if we make a list of strings and let's go with the option type uh, that we recently covered. So, high and sum five. <laughs> okay, that gives us another weird type that's kind of off to the side, that's serializable. Um, it's not drawn in this diagram, but they do both inherit from it. They are both subtypes of serializable. Why do I have a funny feeling that if I make high and a list, I will also get serializable? I would have to think of something that isn't serializable to force it to, to do something else there. Um, hmm. So getting it to actually expose that it's doing any ref is, is a bit more challenging. However, getting it to expose going all the way up to the top is fairly simple. We put in a string and one of those uh, value types and we get a list of any. So any is the ultimate supertype in Scala. Everything is a subtype of any. We have these values over here that are subtypes of any val. We have Pretty much every other type is a subtype of any ref. What about down here at the bottom? Well, it turns out that there are two kind of base types in this. There's a type called null, and everything that's under any ref is a supertype of null. Or you could say null is a subtype of all the things that are under any ref. We don't use null much in Scala. Uh, we try to avoid it whenever possible because it's a, a common source of errors but there is a value called null that has type null and because it has because null is a subtype you can make any of these things equal to null and then there is a type down here that is below everything else including null and that is called nothing now it turns out so we've talked about how boolean there are two possible values true and false unit has one possible value turns out null has one value of null nothing has no values. You cannot make something of type nothing. Uh, you 
wind up getting a type nothing when you do something like throwing an exception, because throwing an exception doesn't actually give you back a value, it throws an exception to the error handling. And so having nothing at the very bottom of this kind of completes the, uh, the type hierarchy. And we can see nothing if we make a list and don't give it any contents. That this is a list of nothing, which kind of means that when we can build onto it using anything that, that we want here. So that's kind of a general in overview of the subtyping relationships that exist inside of Scala. As I said, we're not going to use this too much, but it's helpful to have some understanding of it so that when you see things like any val or any or nothing or null, uh, when you see those things come up, you have some idea of what's going on.